Oh. Hey guys, DB right here, and today I am back with a new what if. And um, this is actually the second what if I've done with this character. I believe the first one was what if, what if Videl survived the um, future timeline, which is, um, you know, the future Trunks timeline, Android 17 and 18 killing people and stuff. Which, that was a fun little series, and I thought it was about time to do another one with Fidel. And, um, this one is... What if Fidel trained like Gohan? And, um... Well, just what I mean by that is, is... What if she was able to reap more benefits from that training? So, basically, our story begins pretty much just prior to the prior to the Boo arc starting, and, um, Great Saiyan Man, aka Gohan, has had his identity exposed by Videl, who, um, basically, of course, has promised not to reveal his secret on the condition Gohan fights in the World Martial Arts Tournament, and, of course, teaches her how to fly. And, um, well... For the most part, Videl learning to fly pretty much goes on like it does per normal. And, um, her beginning to, um, scrape the tip of the iceberg on how energy works. But rather than just leave to train on her own, she suddenly begins to realise that training with these everyday... Fighters, um, Her Hercule's personal trainers that he hired to help train Videl, I don't know, whoever they were. And um, all the punching bags she's busted and broken. It has basically become clear to Videl that this everyday training is just not doing it for her anymore. She, she's craving a challenge. And nothing challenged her more than um, learning to fly, so why not dig into this what did Gohan call it? This key energy? Oh no, I'm not letting Gohan off the hook that easily. So with that, Fidel has pretty much returned and wants to know more about this. And well, it just means Gohan and Goten are just going to have to try and manage their time better to get their own training in. But since, as it turns out, Gohan likes having Fidel around... He's not going to turn her away. And, um... So... Now becomes some more advanced... Key... Energy training moments. And, um... Essentially... They are going well. In terms of, um, sparring in, um, flight... Videl's actually not doing too bad. She's getting used to, um... Being able to fight... While in the air... Not that she can um, match Gohan or Goten in any way. They are way, way, way and a lot stronger. They are holding back massively. But Fidel being a quick study. Well, she is the daughter of the reigning champion after all. <laughs> Pun intended. But yes, she is definitely more natural at fighting than... I guess you could say even Gohan was when he first started training and um yeah she does go home with um a couple of bruises which has um her dad worried a little bit I mean what is she doing out there but essentially she is learning and becoming more skilled and adept to um aerial combat and is um learning to fly faster and um for longer as well so she is at least building up stamina. The only thing she's having really trouble with is being able to um, produce a bit of energy out of her hand and maintain it enough. In other words, she's having trouble firing key blasts. She isn't quite there yet. And, um, well, eventually, with... Um, in between training sessions with Gohan, she would um, often 
also wander off on her own, somewhere where her dad couldn't see or anyone else for that matter, and she would keep trying to focus on her energy and try to master what Gohan calls is like, um, like powering up. And, um, well, it's definitely there, and there are glimpses when, um, she's sparring with Gohan that a bit of, um, her latent potential actually does begin to leak out a bit, and she actually does hit a surprising hit on Gohan, and again, remember, Gohan is holding back very much so, very much so to the point that whatever Videl does do can surprise him, and, um, well, time has basically run out for her to basically figure all that out, because now it's time for the World Martial Arts Tournament, and, well, this is where she, um, is introduced to the entire gang, and she can't really put her fin- finger on it, but she can't help but feel that she's seen most of these people before. I'm talking about the broadcasting of the Cell games, of course. I mean, there was Vegeta, but I don't know, wasn't that guy a blonde? Even Goku looked familiar to her, um, Pic- Piccolo, there's no mistake in Piccolo when you see him on camera. And, um, well... Essentially, from there, we've got the whole, um, um, preliminary test happen, the punching machine, and, um, pretty much all that pretty much goes off like it does in the original, including the junior division of Trunks winning the, um, junior division, defeating Goten in the finals, and, um... Videl is just kind of hoping that she could fight to that level someday. And, well, she does know about Saiyans, because she spent more time with Gohan, there was no point in hiding the fact. And, um, she honestly thought it was a joke, I mean, right up until Trunks and Goten went Super Saiyan in front of her. And, um... Well, when that basically wrapped up, we got the, um, adult tournament, where Krillin beat his opponent no problem, and then we got the second match of, um, Videl taking on Spopovich, like in the original. Now, this is where things begin to differ from the original story, because Videl is very much holding her own against Spopovich. As much times as she's beating him down, like we see in the original, and he vice versa, trying to beat her down, Videl keeps getting up. Videl keeps getting up, and she's in nowhere near as in bad condition as she is in the original story. She can keep going, and she um, has learned how to fly, and use that more that he, she's able to keep away from Spopovich's overwhelming power. Even, um, dodging the, um, key blast that Spopovich blasts her with in the original. Yeah, she's able to do- perfectly dodge those. And, um, well, it's essentially, basically, an even fight between the two. And this is frustrating Spopovich really quickly that he's basically just going crazily, crazy and just attacking wildly. And, um, while... That does seem to work at Spobovich's favour somewhat, getting a devastating hit on Videl. Um, and Spobovich charging in after her like, like that shark smell of blood. He is going in for a final hit. Now this is where Videl surprises everyone when she's able to conjure up a key blast and fire it in Spobovich's, um chest, and sent Spobovich flying and crashing into the crowd barricade, a ring out, Videl actually wins the match. And that has definitely put Gohan at ease, because that Spobovich guy, you know, that, there was something not right about him happening there. And, well, 
So with that, the, the Dell would advance to the next round, and then we got the whole Gohan, Gohan battling with um, Kabito, and well, we pretty much know how that goes. Well, I suppose v Videl's match would have been the third match now that I think about it, because yeah, Piccolo quits to quits to the Supreme Kai. Yeah, I, I forgot about that. And I just played that part in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot as well. Doi! Anyways, bottom line is, it's now Gohan's turn to fight Kabito, and that goes down exactly like it does with the original. Spolovich wasn't in that much of a terrible shape. He, w he was able to um, get himself together to help Yam Yamu pin Gohan down and steal his energy, and they essentially fly off to, um, as we know where they're heading, they're heading towards Barbadi's spaceship, and now Supreme Kai is looking to pursue after them and try and put an end to this before it starts, and of course he tells the Dragon Team that they're welcome to follow him. And, of course, they do. Gohan is healed. Kabito fly off, and of course, so do Videl and Gohan. And I think, at least for now, that's where we're going to leave things. So just, just a nice quick start. So, what did you guys think? Did you enjoy this little alternate version of Videl's training? Did you enjoy... Did you like the fact that she was able to um, defeat Spobovich this time and come out with um, hardly a scratch on her? And well, let me let me put it to you this way: I think a lot of us wish the um, original Spobovich and Videl fight never happened. I mean, that fight did go pretty far, if not too far. So, at least, in this story, Fidel got to get a little bit of revenge this time. And actually win her match. So, as always, leave your thoughts in the comments, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back again next time. Catch you later.